this Sunday morning service. We are glad that you are here and more than any one of us, it's the Lord one who rejoices to see his children coming together in one mind to seek his face. Praise be to God. And so his presence is here already. Are you able to see his presence? Do you feel his presence in this place? Or are you waiting for the end of the service? No, hallelujah. Wherever we go, we carry the presence of God. Amen, hallelujah. I want to encourage each one of you to keep your eyes fixed on Jesus as we begin the service. Let's bow our heads and begin to pray and praise the Lord. Everybody together, let's close our eyes and pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love, Lord. Thank you for your mighty presence in this place. As we read in the book of Genesis chapter 1, the earth was empty and void, but the Spirit of God was hovering upon the place. Hallelujah. We might have come with different opinions, suggestions, and uh, thoughts and expectations, but just remember the Spirit of God is hovering upon us. Beautiful Lord, His Spirit is hovering upon us. Spirit of God, take complete in charge of this service. Let your name alone be lifted up in this place. I pray there will be genuine desire for people to worship you. Genuine love that we will pour out in your presence. That we will not be compelled to open our mouth to praise. But there will be a Lord river of water that will gush out of our mouth to praise and to declare the almighty God's name. The name that is above all other names. Hallelujah. I pray for freedom in this place. I pray for liberty in this place. I pray for the miracles. I pray for signs and wonders to take place right now as we begin the service. As the praise go up. Hallelujah. God, you will send us the rain. Rain of power. Rain of glory. Rain of uh, your anointing, Lord Jesus. Thank you. We love you. We honor you, Lord. We bow before your holy presence. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's stand together and worship God this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Do 
wonders anew. You captured my heart with this love. There's nothing on earth that's as beautiful as you. Open my eyes to your wonders anew. You captured my heart with this love. There's nothing on earth that's as beautiful as you. Is that true? Amen. Sing it. You opened my eyes to your wonders anew. You captured my heart with this love. There's nothing on earth that's as beautiful. Open my eyes to your wonders and you. You captured my heart with this love. There's nothing on earth that's as beautiful as you. crucified on the cross he did not have anything that we will be attracted towards him his body was broken his flesh came out the blood was oozing out yet somehow we are attracted to this God hallelujah if you understand the work of Jesus on the cross you cannot stay away from this fence hallelujah you will run to his arms and you will embrace him. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for showing your love through Jesus to me, to my family, to our church, to this land, India. Hallelujah. Praise be to the Lord. Say, beautiful one I love, beautiful one. Beautiful one, my soul, my beautiful one, I love, beautiful one, I adore, beautiful one, my soul, my soul. Hallelujah. Let 
our soul, continue to sing, continue to praise for all that the Lord has done for us. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Put your hands together and worship the Lord. Blessing and honor, glory and power. Blessing and honor, glory and power. Be unto the ancient God. From every nation, all of creation. Blessing and honor, blessing and honor. Blessing and honor, sing it together, hallelujah. Blessing and honor, glory and power be unto the ancient of days. From every nation, all of creation, bow before the ancient of days. Every tongue, every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare. In worship you will be exalted, O oh God, and your kingdom shall not pass away, O oh, ancient of days. Worship that ancient of days, O oh, ancient of days. Hallelujah. Your kingdom, your kingdom shall reign over to the ancient of days. For none can compare to your matchless world. Singing to the ancient of days. Your kingdom shall reign over all the earth. Singing to the ancient of days. For none can compare shall bow at your throne in worship you be exalted O oh God and your kingdom shall not pass away O oh, ancient of days hallelujah your kingdom say your kingdom shall reign over all the earth come on declare it sing unto the ancient of days Matchless word, singing to the ancient, your kingdom, your kingdom shall reign over all the earth, singing to the ancient, no, none can compare to your matchless word, singing to Days. Come on, shout it out, O oh, ancient, O oh, ancient of days. 
Our God is ancient of days. Oh, ancient of days. Hallelujah. Oh, ancient of days. Praise the Lord. Your kingdom reigns forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every tongue will declare that Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior. The day is coming soon. Hallelujah. Those who pierce you, those who throw stones at you, they will bow before this almighty God and worship Him. Hallelujah. We are the winners. In Jesus Christ, we are the winners. Conquerors. We are more than conquerors. Praise Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We love you, Lord Jesus. All blessing, all glory, all power belong to you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise be to God. Seated above. Our God is enthroned in the Father's love. Destined to the to, destined to die, poured out for all mankind on this first Sunday of this month before we partake in the communion let us relax in the presence of God and say Lord you have done it all you have done it all you have done it all, you have already shown what it means to love show love to our enemies hallelujah, praise Jesus we don't deserve this love but today you have Lord poured out your blessings upon us your love upon us your grace upon us we thank you Jesus God's only son perfect and spotless one he never sinned but suffered as if he did and so father in heaven gave him the highest authority and said every knee will bow every tongue will confess in your name hallelujah thank you Jesus praise Jesus Every 
turn seas into highways. You're the only one who cares. You turn mourning to dancing. He went to the cross. He gave his life for us. He is great. No one else who deserves his title. He is an awesome God. The morning star, we worship you, Lord. He gave up everything for our sake. So that we can stand and worship him. Live as a testimony, a witness for his name's sake. Purely his mercy, his grace. in a week we come together in his presence like this and I want to encourage everyone here to pour out your burdens upon Jesus we are standing as an assembly in his presence and declaring great 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 are you Lord 
If we are standing today, it is because of what Christ has done for us on the cross. Not because we are intelligent. Not because we are skillful. Not because we eat healthy food. No. Because of His grace and mercy alone. Oh, great are you, Lord. We got promotion because of His work. Hallelujah. Great are you, Lord. We got healed because of His brokenness, church. Great are you, Lord. Someone comes to us and says, I am blessed because of you. But we give the Lord God glory for keeping us as the light and the salt in this world. Great are you. For he has turned our graves into gardens. Say, great, great. the Lord reign. Yes, Lord. Praise Jesus. Keep praising the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name. deserves all the glory. He's in our midst. He's hearing your hearts. And as you're praying, crying out to him, he's listening to you. The one who is in our midst, he deserves all the praise and worship. Just go ahead, just go ahead, lift your voice, uh, begin to speak in tongues, hallelujah. In your own way, in your own language, in your own way, that just begin to worship him, hallelujah. Hallelujah, all powerful God, the dry bones will become armies, your mourning will become dance, oh the shame will become glory as you worship, the walls will come down, just go ahead, just go ahead, just go ahead, hallelujah, just break it open your heart, give your worship to him, give your adoration to him, give your praise to him, hallelujah, 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 the victorious Lord. Lord, the one who conquered the death, the one who conquered the sin for us. Oh, the one who brought victory to my life. Oh, praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Nothing is impossible with him. Nothing is impossible with him. Confess that. Declare that he's all powerful. He's all he's the Lord of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is not enough for him. This is not enough for him. He's the Lord. He's the King of Kings. He's seated on the throne. He established his throne in the midst of us this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we worship you, God. We worship you. We worship you. There is none beside you. Nothing can be compared to your Lord. There is no power that can be compared to your Lord. Hallelujah. 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 He's beautiful. He's beautiful. He's wonderful. He's marvelous. His grace is amazing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We're going to pray for our needs. If you have a need, you can just walk up to the altar, we'll pray. But before that, I just want to read a scripture passage for you, just to remind you the very well-known passage from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 8, where Jesus calms the storm. Then he got into the boat, starting from verse 23, he got into the boat and his disciples followed him. Suddenly a furious storm came up on the lake, 
so that the waves swept over the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him up, saying, Lord, save us. We are going to drown. He replied, You of little faith, why are you so afraid? And he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. The men were amazed and asked, What kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. In our life, the winds and waves are there. It will obey the Lord Jesus. It will obey the Lord Jesus. We don't have to give up. He cares for us. He's not simply sleeping. He knows what's going on in your life. He's not careless about your life. He cares for you. The scripture says you can cast all upon himself. All your anxieties, fears, disappointments, frustration, even your anger upon himself. He can carry it. He crucified it on the cross and he came back to life and he can take it upon himself and he can bring this solution for your life. Hallelujah. If you want to walk up to the altar, if, we, if you want the pastors to be prayed over, just come, come to the altar. We'll pray with you. But others, you can begin to thank him and worship him for what he has been doing in your life. The testimonies, the goodness of God, the faithfulness, the healing, the provision, all that he has been doing with you. In your life, in your family, in your son's life, in all of your life. You know, as you're coming to the altar, know that he can do it. He can do it. He has done it in the past and he will continue to do it. In all your life, no matter how heavy it is, he can carry it. He carried it on the cross and he can still carry it for you. Hallelujah. kept in the tomb for three days. The Bible says there was a great storm, a huge storm that was set before the tomb of Jesus. No one person, even two people, 
five people or in ten people could ever move that stone away. It was so big, so heavy. When the women went to the tomb, one of the worries they had was, who will roll the stone away? This morning, I see in the lives of many of you there have been stones put before you that you cannot experience the blessing of God. The blessing of God is stopped because there is a huge stone of unbelief. There is a huge stone set before by the devil. There's no one to move it. But this morning I want you to know the Lord is sending an angel your way. The Lord is sending an angel your way to remove that stone that has stopped you. That has stopped you from receiving God's blessings in your life. That has stopped you, your healing. That has stopped you from the divine blessings in your life. That has stopped you from the financial overflowing in your life. That has stopped you from moving in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Stone set by the devil. He thinks he can keep you there as a slave to his plans, to his schemes. But this morning, God is looking down. Hallelujah. 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 The stone is going to be rolled away. The stone is going to be rolled away. The light of God Almighty from heaven shall shine inside. When the people came, they saw an empty tomb. Hallelujah. For Jesus... Even if the stone was there, it was there. Even then he rose again. But the stone was removed for others to see that he was not there. Hallelujah. But this morning there are some stones that has been on your way from coming to enjoying the abundance of God's blessings. So those of you, I know that many of you are seated down, out there with the stones in front of you. Just stand. You don't have to come down. Just stand up. If you want that stone to be removed, hallelujah, just stand up. Hallelujah. Look to God, everyone. Look to God. Look to God. Look to God. Look to God. He alone is worthy. He alone is worthy. He alone is worthy. He alone is worthy, hallelujah. He has the power. Not only does he have the keys to heaven and hell and death and life, he has the power to remove everything. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. Amen. You Confess do it. This is so not a simple great. song. This should be your confession. No Make it your confession like you. this morning. For that stone to be there removed from you. No Let that stone run far away from you. Like Hallelujah. You. Never again for that stone to come and block you your way. From receiving the blessing of God. Almighty God, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Hallelujah. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. So great.
does. Beautiful thing he does. Wonderful things he does. Hallelujah. There is no one like our Jesus this morning. Worthy of all praise, glory, and honor unto himself. Hallelujah. God, you are great. You are great. Hallelujah. Look at the face of Jesus as you sing this song. Hallelujah. Look at the face of the resurrected Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God. You are God Almighty. Hallelujah. You have conquered hell and death. O oh, death, where is thy power? O oh, hell, where is your sting? Hallelujah. O oh, God, we thank you for you have declared victory over hell and death. And you have given us the authority this morning in the name of Jesus. Whatever we shall bind here on earth in your name shall be bound up. Since you died on the cross for us. Since you rose again from the dead. This morning we bind the works of the devil. We bind his works, O oh Lord, and we release the power of God. We release the blessing of God. We release healing this morning in the name of Jesus. We release the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Whatever your people are in need of this morning, grant it unto them because we release the power of God in this place. May you be glorified. May you be honored, O oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Would you lift up your right hand toward heaven this morning and say, Jesus, I receive it. I receive my blessing. The stone is rolled away. The stone is rolled away. The stone of unbelief. The stone of sickness. The stone of poverty, the stone of doubt, the stone of every unbelief, the stone of every impossibility is rolled away from my life, from the life of my family. I thank you for the light and the glory of God shining through me. The light and the glory of God shining through me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we thank you for gathering us in your holy presence this morning. This is your house. This is your home. We have come to dwell in your presence. As brothers and sisters in Christ, we thank you, Lord, for this beautiful Sunday morning. Thank you. Thank you for your presence. Millions of people all around the world are worshipping at this very moment. Even in our own nation of India, millions probably of, oh God, billion around the world worshipping you, glorifying you, oh God. We thank you for the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. We thank you for the shed blood of Jesus on the cross of Calvary. I thank you for that crown of thorns you wore on your head. Hallelujah. 
so that you can give us freedom, rest. You can give us healing in our minds. We thank you for every whip that you took on your body to heal every kind of disease, sickness that is in the world. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are here to honor you. We love you. We bless you. In your holy name we pray. You may be seated. Thank you so much for being here this morning on this uh, first uh, Sunday of the month. Church, uh, it's good to see all of you this morning, and I welcome each one of you for this Sunday morning service. Anybody here visiting us for the first time? Uh, if you are here, please uh, stand. Uh, we want to welcome you. Anybody here? Yes, we have a sister over here. Uh, let's put a hand and welcome. Thank you for coming here. This is Global Christian Life Center and Assemblies of God Church. Uh, if you are here in city, please do visit. Uh, come and visit again. Thank you. A few announcements for this week. Uh, we want to remind you about the life connection groups that we have. Um, you know, the places are mentioned here. And uh, if you are close by any of these places, uh, we would encourage you to get in touch with any of the pastors so that uh, you can be also part of these groups. And uh, this is the place where we come together and learn the word of God and we will have a good fellowship, at the time of fellowship. So we would encourage you to be part of this, uh, this, these Life Connection groups. Coming Thursday, that is 11th of April, uh, we will have vernacular prayers. Uh, it will be held uh, online. So uh, the details will be shared in the WhatsApp group. And we would encourage all of you to participate in the vernacular service that we have on coming Thursday. We will have our weekly meetings going on. Uh, we will have daily morning prayer and then Monday night prayers and then prayer and uh, Friday night prayer via Zoom. Uh, so if you are available in these times, so please get in touch with uh, any of the pastors or else the details will be shared in the WhatsApp group. Please uh, log in and join for the prayers. After the service, the youth fellowship will be happening at the residence of Brother Hanu and Sister Alice at 2 p.m. So if you, uh, we request you to participate in that uh, meeting, so uh, youth uh, uh, gang people. So please get in touch with the leaders so they will give you the information about the residence. Now let's prepare our hearts to give unto the Lord. Uh, let's take the offering and his tithes, and I'm going to ask uh, Brother Jacob Samuel to come forward and lead us, lead in prayer for the offering. Loving Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. Thank you for, for this time that you have given in our life, Father, to gather together to praise you and worship you, Father. Father, you are so good. You redeemed us from all our sins. We are sinners, Father. We, we uh, accept and remember that we are sinners, but you came down to, to redeem us from all our sins, Father. Lead us in the right place, in the right walk, according to your will, Father. We pray that your presence be always with all of us, Father. Bless all, the, all, the, all your children who are gathered here uh, to worship you, Father. You bless them, lead them in your, in, in, your, in your presence. You dwell in them and lead them, Father. I pray for everybody's well-being, Father. Your, your, your blessing, your comfort, your, your strength be with each, each one of us. I pray for the offering that, you, that, Father, you are the creator of this earth and heaven. And everything what we have is yours, Father. We offer a portion of gift that you have given to us for your glory, for your making your kingdom, Father, to, uh, for the extension of your kingdom. Father, bless this and uh, multiply this in the, uh, uh, and use this for your kingdom, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Oh. 
wonderful change in my life has been wrought since Jesus came into my heart. I have light in my soul for which long I had sought since Jesus came into my heart. Since Jesus came into my heart. Since Jesus came into my heart. Floods of joy, O oh my soul, like the sea billows roll. Since Jesus came into my heart. I have ceased from my wandering and going astray. Since Jesus came into my heart. My sins which were many are all washed away since Jesus came into my heart saying saying Jesus since Jesus came into my heart floods of joy oh my soul like the sea billows roll since Jesus came into my heart of hope that is steadfast and sure since Jesus came into my heart and no dark clouds of doubt now my pathway obscure since Jesus came into my heart since Jesus came into my heart since Jesus came into my heart let's up joy soul like the sea billows roll since Jesus came into my heart shall we stand and sing his last verse praise God there's a light in the valley of death now for me since Jesus came into church rejoice and say and the gates of the city beyond I can see since Jesus came into my heart Joy, oh my soul, like the sea billows roll. Since Jesus came, sing it again. Since Jesus, since Jesus came into my Hallelujah. Since Jesus came into my heart, let some joy, oh my soul, like the sea billows roll. Since Jesus came into my heart. Let's of joy, oh my soul, like the sea billows roll. Since Jesus came into my heart. Amen, amen. You may be seated. Since Jesus came into my heart. What is there? Floods of joy. Floods of joy. Hallelujah. Floods of joy. How many of you have floods of joy this morning? Yes. Amen. Is there a testimony this morning? Yes. Since you all have floods of joy. Sister? Yeah, actually I was deciding not to come to church because, <laughs> because I started to have pain at 4 o'clock in the morning in my knee. But when I decided and got dressed, the pain seemed to have vanished. So that's a testimony that I wanted to be here. <laughs> Anyone else? Anyone else? How about you? I always tell this lady, she looks like my mother. <laughs> what can my testimony be that the Lord has kept me alive in the land of the living and has blessed me and sustained me this far? That's a beautiful testimony. That's a beautiful testimony. And how about you, Sister Shai? I have seen financial increase in this month. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Can you all give a good hand? Everybody likes a little bit extra. <laughs> Amen. Anyone else? You know, oh, okay, over there, Ritu, praise the Lord. Somebody come here with another microphone.
Please not to Two days back, I've been promoted to department lead position. Thank you. Okay. I've been promoted to department lead position recently. That was two days back. Praise the Lord. Promotion. If you like promotion. Amen. Praise the Lord. Even though... Oh, yeah, go ahead. Pastor, I think I uh, was seeing me for the past 25 years with a bike. And always uh, after marriage also you are coming on bike or buy a car. I used to say, Pastor, you pray God will give. Uh, it's almost a year. So uh, we were th planning, I got some arrears, uh, but anyhow arrears also got over. But we were planning to buy a car. Planning to buy a car. And um, some offer I got. <coughs> That car was actually brand new. That fellow went only for 50,000 or so, seven, five years old. He was trying to sell it for seven lakhs. I said, I don't have that much money. You give me for four lakhs. No, no, I cannot give you for four lakhs. Uh, I already uh, talked with somebody. I said, okay. After two months, he calls me back and says, please give me four and a half lakhs. You take this car. <laughs> and before giving me that car, he has done all the wheels he has changed. He has done service. He has put a, what you call even a, a small thing like pollution. He did it for my sake and said, Sir, you please come and take the car. You give money and take the car. Rest everything I will take care. And I said, no, I think you have to come and give, uh, uh, please park the car at my house because I can't drive. He was actually willing to do that also. Oh, I get that uh, through one of our uh, church uh, members, uh, Manu's friend. He said that uh, one word he said, sir, I cannot, I could not sell this car because I used to like this car as my wife. Okay, so it's to so clean. Okay, not even one damage I could see on this car. So that's why I could not sell it to some broker and all. Please take care of this car. Finally, I said, no, no, you don't have to come. Somebody, Banu will come and drive that car for me from your house to my house. And we are only having a car to park. Only Sunday, I normally take. Because my, actually, I always felt that car I don't need because uh, I, my office is just five, two minutes walk. But anyhow, Pastor, your prayer is powerful. Thank you, Pastor. But, but the answer came very late, though. Huh? <laughs> A very good morning yes. to everyone. Praise the Lord. Father, I had come here uh, f from a very young age. I have seen the presence of Lord. I have been a part of the choir in, during my school days and I have always felt his presence. And I was going through a lot of hardship in the past 17 months and you had prayed with, uh, for me and as well as Bhupenderji and his family. And today I have been promoted as a scientific consultant in the Ministry of Environment. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Church. I'm sorry, uh, my throat is bad today. So uh, I want to thank God um, for His grace, His love. Uh, I, in December, I ha I got my ankle sprained. So till till yesterday, and I was having pain. I'm still having pain, but to be on the safer side, we went for MRI. So by the grace of God and by your prayers, my reports were normal. It's just the inflammation. No injury, no fracture. So I thank God for that. And also I thank God that uh, I got a new job. Yeah, so <laughs> it was just like when I didn't expect I got the job. So I just give glory to God for that. Thank you all for your prayers. Praise the Lord. Praise God. It's an unexpected time to Praise God. <coughs> um, I have three, four things to thank and praise God and thank church. One, uh, we are praying for Ellen's uh, uh, visa. Uh, usually, post study visa, they give it for three years. God's grace uh, within a f 
two weeks time usually it comes around three months time within four months he got a five years visa <coughs> it's a it's a miracle usually i mean always it's three years but he got it for five years another one in month of october <coughs> sorry the place i am working um, they said uh, you have to change your uh, job to a consultant and we are going to reduce your salary so there is this bit of tiktok happened then they agreed to continue the employment but they reduced my salary by 45 percent and changed that to a sales based incentive i never been a sales guy so i know that i will not be achieving that so it really shattered me uh, because i am the lone uh, earning member of my family but i put my problem into god's hand thank god april uh, february <coughs> i got another opportunity as a consultant then i said i'm leaving they said how can you leave because i got some businesses i have to handle that so what i want to say is that god has given me to work for two companies in the month of february and more than i lost god compensated that <coughs> so again i'm saying trust in god keep all your burdens into his hands as pastor said the stones will roll away another point uh, my v- bp is uh, very low i don't know uh, people normally can't stand if they come down to 60 70 but i am standing <coughs> last few weeks it's very difficult my energy levels have come down but it's a miracle that i'm standing god is taking care of me every day helping me to drive to my office it's almost one and a half one hour drive going to gudu and coming back so he is giving me the strength he is taking yes. care of me thank oh. you for prayers yeah. please continue to pray for me amen thank amen. you amen few brothers just around brother tony for a few moments pastor thomas brother stanley pastor you the brother robin just go and sh- just stand around him strengthen him hallelujah let's speak against this evil thing that is called sickness the stone has stopped the healing from coming into his life into his body right now in the name of jesus entire church please would you look to god our dear brother has been going through so much in the past we believe in god this very moment for a breakthrough for a breakthrough in the mighty name of jesus we pray for a breakthrough in the mighty name of jesus let that stone that has stopped his healing flowing into his body be removed in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah lord god send an angel this moment to remove that so that the healing of god flow into every vital organ of his body especially his kidneys mighty god nothing is impossible with you hallelujah brother stanley would you lift up your voice and lead us in prayer for brother tony hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah precious lord we come before you lord god with brother tony lord god lord you are a miracle working god we have time and again experienced in our life oh lord god that you are a prayer answering god and we believe lord god this mo- this morning's mo- uh, rema word lord god that the stone is rolled away lord god yes we believe in the name of jesus lord god that the stone of uh, lord god uh, uh, health uh, that was uh, uh, that has been stopped from brother tony's life till now this very moment lord god healing is flowing into his body from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet uh, his uh, blood pressures are getting revived in the name of jesus uh, amen hallelujah it's all is all organs are being revived right Hallelujah. now in the name of Jesus we believe and we receive it in the name of Jesus oh Lord God amen, amen. past is past it is gone Lord yes. God Lord we believe that there is a tomorrow and there is and that tomorrow is to have is beginning from today Hallelujah. and Lord from this very moment Lord God brother will experience a, a new energy level yes, amen Lord. hallelujah amen a new energy level your word says Lord God to so those who hope in you will find new strength oh Lord yes, God oh so Lord we pray for new strength Jesus. Amen in the name of Jesus to come upon him as a church we agree and receive in the name of Jesus amen 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 yes brother you're right here i just praise the lord 
I'm Sushil Kumar. Turn that mic on. I was uh, suffering from hyperthyroidism since eight years and um, yield. I was. Uh, I, nev I never thought I would be ill. I, I went to my home last week and I found I'm healed. So I praise Jesus. Amen. 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 Good morning, sir. Our God is a prayer answering God. And I was looking for a new job. God, God gave me a new job. Uh, earlier I was traveling around 80 kilometers a day. Now it's only 25 kilometers a day. Thank you. Amen. Eight years come down to 20. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Muska, you, you got it. Okay. And one more afterwards. Thank you. I think that's Morning, Brother sir. Sharma. Okay. Actually, you all know that uh, I got my job in Air India uh, in uh, October. So I have been uh, waiting for its joining since then. And uh, I was waiting and I was praying that uh, before June, uh, my joining should come. But uh, in March, uh, we got mail that it will be postponed. So uh, speculation was till this, la till this year end, there will be no joining for uh, us. But uh, I was praying during this uh, Lent uh, period, 21 days. Almost uh, two, three times I prayed uh, daily. Then now uh, there has been a mail ca which came to me. Basically, 70 people before me uh, are still waiting for the joining. But now 30 of us, including me, are uh, getting joining in some other uh, branch uh, of uh, like Air India, like Air India Express Connect. So it's a miracle for me. Thank you, God, for that. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord, pastor. Uh, since Jesus came into my life, things have changed drastically, very, very drastically. What I was and what I am and what he has kept me all around this time, it's wonderful. See, uh, look at me, I am an absolutely poor man. I have a pension of just 2,000 rupees, 1,000 of mine and 1,000 of my wife. That's the system the government has created for uh, people who don't uh, have regular jobs like, I mean, private companies. So that is my, uh, uh, my monthly earning. But God, all this while, made me rich, rich in a different manner. He uh, kept me uh, under his uh, arms, under his wings, under his blessings. He gave me enough sense to contribute, uh, to, uh, to uh, uh, save. And at the same time, I got uh, blessings differently from different areas uh, of like uh, something from the family, something from my in-laws. So I had, he has given me till date enough since Jesus came into my mind, to my heart. That's his greatness, his uh, goodness. He has given me wonderful children. I'm so proud of them. I have never, never, never said that I don't have good children. And I will never say that because they are very good. God bless them. I have wonderful, wonderful grandchildren. I love them like anything. Yes, I wish my wife was alive. She would have enjoyed this blessing. But then I'm sure somewhere up there, somewhere, somewhere, wherever, I mean, whatever the system is, I don't know. We all are confused about it. But then I know one thing, that she must be watching and she must be enjoying you, good children. God bless you. Church, remember, Jesus has come into your heart. He's going to stay there. Have complete faith. 1,000 rupees is my pension. And I live like a king. Believe me, I live like a king. Trust me, I live like a king. Best of things I eat, best of things I wear, best of things I have, best of thing, things and people like pastors there, people like Lou, you all love me. 
I know that you all love me. Trust him. He will always keep you blessed. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all these wonderful testimonies. Back there. Uh, back there. You know, back there, there is a lady there in the white. Yeah, you're going right there. You're going right there. Yeah. Give it. Give the phone. I was in SABC graduation the other day. I could not attend the graduation ceremony because I was so sick with high fever, body pain, and cold and cough. But I was so proud because I was watching it from uh, the guest room that I was there when they read all the names. Graduates in, in absentia, the BTH candidates as well as the MD uh, candidates. And I thought to myself, they miss such a grand opportunity to be here in Bangalore to enjoy that. But you know, I really appreciate all of you from our church who have graduated this year. So 21st April in BYK, in the evening, 6 o'clock, we're going to have that. And I want the entire church to be there, amen, to support our people from our church. Even though they have taken some time, they have completed it. Praise the Lord for that. Yes, go ahead. Something else also God has done in your life. So uh, I thank God that uh, I could complete my MDiv. Uh, it took a long time. I wanted to give it up midway uh, when Sam went. But thank you, Pastor, for encouraging me to complete what I started. Uh, another thing was uh, I had applied for visa uh, last two years before to go for Josh's graduation. And uh, because of COVID, the delay, I only got a date last week. There was no reason for them to give me a <coughs> visa, uh, but uh, I was in the office and uh, my visa has been approved. Not just mine, but, Amen. but Jesse and uh, Joe as well. And uh, many a times uh, we don't get our testimonies how we want to. Uh, in the beginning of this year, I decided to give more for missions. And uh, I knew the Lord would provide. But uh, a month later, uh, with the theft in our house, uh, it really left me wondering what was happening. Uh, but then I would say that the Lord left his handprint in the midst of the trial. Uh, when I read that envelope, uh, maybe I should just say Pastor Clifford had given it to me. And uh, in the midst of that chaos and uh, the things that were thrown all around the house, God's handprint was very evident, saying that my cup will never run dry. And he has been faithful. And I believe, even if he doesn't restore, I will still love him oh. how I loved. Thank you. Oh, amen. Thank God for such wonderful testimonies. This morning, we could hear from our people. Uh, God is so good. What else can we say? Oh, somebody here? Okay. One last. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Thank you for this, giving this opportunity, Pastor. It's a short testimony that um, when Pastor Clifford was leading the worship and we just came into the uh, auditorium and then there was, I mean, there's nothing in my mind. But then I just felt God. I was crying, crying, crying in the entire worship and I was like, why I was crying? 
I, I, even now I don't know why I was crying, but I was touched by God. And after the worship, when pastor was praying, I just felt I have to share this testimony that I felt God, I felt His presence. I have been asking for it, but God has touched me. And I wanted to tell this testimony, but uh, I thought I'll share it some, in some other time, on some other time. And uh, But I went to Sunday school and I dropped my child there and I've come back. And I could see people are sharing testimony. It's, it's, it's purely God. You know, never, uh, I have to say, this is not the regular pattern which happens in our church. But today, as I have to share the testimony, God has created this and given this opportunity to me to test, to testify His presence to everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Amen. 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 God is so good. I think I should because having heard from my friend there, Anil Sharmaji, I think I think I also need to express that. You both are of same age, eh? Almost. Maybe I'm older, but uh, no. I want to first of all say a big thank you to each one of you, because many, many of you pray regularly for us, me and my family, and many of you, I also approach you to pray, sometime in the middle of the night also. So I am grateful that we have such wonderful uh, men and women of God, brothers and sisters, who love and pray. I am definitely a beneficiary of that. I'm grateful to God. Secondly, for me, it's a miracle. Every day, it's a miracle. I don't want to go into length of saying anything more than that because it's a miracle that we are here or that I'm standing before you. I'm grateful. And along with Pastor Brother Stanley, I want to affirm, when you went to the pulpit, Pastor, that was the Rima word. That was the Rima word, the stone all the way. You know, you have to see how God is moving as so you pray. And I, we as a family have always said, when pastor carries this bureau, anointing that he gets behind the pulpit, there's ministry of the Spirit. We thank God. So I'm grateful, thankful. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for all these wonderful testimonies. Uh, last um, Tuesday, I left town. And a short whirlwind kind of a trip to South India. And uh, I got sick at my home <laughs> in Shankota. The, the heat wave was unbearable. We have never experienced such a heat in, the, in that part of Tamil Nadu. And uh, I got so sick. I went to SABC for the graduation. I couldn't attend it because it was so difficult for me to even to walk. So everybody said uh, to rest in the guest room there. They gave me medicine and I was resting. And yesterday was a board meeting that uh, I had to attend. So I woke up about 5 o'clock, but I could not come to our prayer meeting at 5.30. But I was praying, and the first thing that uh, came into my heart was this. I was singing that song in Tamil, Kidam, Kidam, Jai Jaya, Kidam. And there is a stanza that says, See the stone that is running away. Paradu kallari, moodina perangal, uran duran dodu du par. From my sleep, waking up, singing that song. <laughs> The whole morning yesterday, I was meditating on this and I asking God, God, what are the stones you're going to remove? And he clearly said, you know, there are some blessings that have been withheld in your own family. I'm removing that stone for that blessing to overflow into your life. And then for me, family means it's not just that physical family, the church. God said, I'm going to move in a precious, mighty way in the days to come, in the lives of so many people. And that's exactly this morning, this testimony that we have heard, 
just goes to affirm what God has promised me yesterday, that stone. Dear people of God, the time is short. I want you to get close to God. That's the only thing. Get close to God. How? Study the word of God. Whenever you have free time, don't tune into the television to watch a serial. I'm not against watching news or a little game here and there for your pleasure. That's all right. But use your precious time that you think in the word and in prayer. God is a God who wants to reveal things to his church. And it's going to happen in the lives of so many. I was so happy to hear that testimony of little extra money than usually that she has. That's a blessing. Healing, that's a blessing. Amen. Somebody said there is promotion. That's a blessing. In so many ways, God's going to make you. We were in a larger meeting. Uh, Pastor Paul Tange was there. What he said really touched my heart. He said, I have 40,000 people in my church, and God is telling me to send all 40,000 as missionaries. God told me not to keep any one of them in the church. I used to think that way. We don't have 40,000. But less, but everyone need to be a missionary for Jesus. Everyone need to be an evangelist for Jesus. Every home should be a pastoral home. Amen. That is what God expects us to do. I'm making one change in the weekly schedule that we have for this coming week. I forgot to tell you. This coming Thursday, we have vernacular fellowship. We will have it on Wednesday night, if that's okay. Wednesday night, we don't have anything. Because Thursday night, I would like to have the Oikos meeting on Zoom. Because we were planning to call you here. That might not work uh, right now. So we're going to have some Zoom meetings, at least three, four Zoom meetings, before we launch this Oikos ministry in the church. So please remember, it will be 7 o'clock on Thursday evening in the place of Vernacular Fellowship. Vernacular Fellowship will be on Wednesday night. Amen. Praise the Lord. So please keep that in uh, mind. And um, <clears throat> to see a lot of young people graduating, some 176 young people graduated, everyone with a burden. I heard uh, one fellow saying his desire was to go to Spain as a missionary, praise the Lord, from India to Spain, amen. And last year, there was a girl, I believe, she wanted to go to South America as a missionary. Praise the Lord. <laughs> uh, this coming month, my son and I are invited to go to South America, but right now I don't want to go to any America. <laughs> I'm so weak and tired. I'm asking God, God, if you give me strength, maybe then we'll go. My son is excited, but I'm not. <laughs> because traveling is also becoming too much. Yesterday, from Bangalore to Delhi, the flight was delayed. By the time I got home, it was 11.30 at night. And by the time uh, I literally went to bed, it was beyond 1 o'clock. And uh, I was feeling weak. Pastor Mohan and I were going to the airport from SABC campus. He asked me, hey, who is preaching tomorrow? I said, of course I will. <laughs> but you're not well. <laughs> I said, when I get to the pulpit, I'll feel different. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. God is good. And I'm so thankful for the confirmation about that stone because the whole day, and then as I always do, I watch Pastor Mohan, the first service, their first service is at 5 o'clock. And what was he saying? The stone is rolled away. Yeah. Hallelujah. The stone is rolled away. That was his message in the first service. Those of you who know Tamil, you go home and watch it. The stone is rolled away. Hallelujah. For a moment, could we close our eyes? Everyone, for a moment, think of that stone that has still not been moved away from your way. The stone, whatever stone. Some, maybe a sinful habit, as a big stone that stops the blessing of God flowing into your life. For some, you don't have the faith. You read the word of God. You hear the word of God. But there is somehow not enough faith 
to literally abandon everything to trust in God. You need faith this morning. And God can remove that stone and bless you with faith. Some of you, like I was sharing, we've been sick for a long time. Chronic sickness. The stone that stops the healing virtue of Christ to flow into our bodies for some time have been withheld because there is a huge stone in front of you. Some of you don't have enough finances to run your ministry, to run your business. I was listening to a first generation Christian yesterday in our board meeting. He's a first generation Christian. He said God blessed him initially and then he went through a difficult phase in his life. For some reason, finances are not coming through as it should. We prayed for him. We trusted in God. We may not have money in our hands all the time, but the blessing God will allow us to have is this. All bills will be paid in time. Hallelujah. All bills will be paid in time. That's a blessing. Money God gives to you so you can give back to God. You can bless others. You can give to church. You can give to ministries that are there. God has established in his kingdom. I can go on and on and on. But I just want you to focus on that one particular thing. Maybe you are due for a promotion and it has not come through. It's not come through. This morning, God is removing that stone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the promise. The stone is removed. In some of our lives, the stone has been removed already. For some of us this morning, the stone is being rolled away. For some, Lord, you say, I will roll the stone away. If you keep trusting in me, keep trusting in me, the stone will be removed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glorify God. Glorify God. Hallelujah. 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 God never has chosen any one of you to be a failure in his kingdom. The promise that God has given us this month is this. Many will come against you, but they will never overcome you because I'm with you. That's the promise for April. Hold on to that promise. The promise of God is like a life, precious life that God gives to you afresh this morning. Let me read that passage that we got as a key verse or the promise verse for this month. Jeremiah 119, they will fight against you, but they shall not prevail against you. Hallelujah. For I am with you, says the Lord, to deliver you. This is the portion of every child of God this morning. Some of you work in circumstances where you may not you may be the only Christian you're the only child of God <coughs> maybe you're the only born again Christian maybe you're the only spiritual Christian people mock at you when you share your faith people look down on you because you are a Christian 
Some look down on you because you left the other faith and joined to follow Jesus. They can't understand that. But this morning God says, I am with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am with you. The presence of God in our lives. Jesus dwelling within each one of us will make the difference as we live in this world. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, once again, we thank you for the promise, scripture that you have blessed us with this month. Because you are with us, nobody can overcome us. We thank you and also you said the stone is removed. Hallelujah. The stone was not removed because Jesus had to come out. The stone was removed because those unbelieving disciples, the women who went there to anoint the body of Jesus, they had to see through the Lord tomb to see that Jesus was not there. This morning we serve a living Christ. Hallelujah. Help us never to look for the living Christ in the dead places. Not through rituals, God, but a life worship, Lord. A living worship, a living experience. A walking with you in every situation. Giving us assurance. Even when things happen in our lives. Sickness, theft, losing money, this or that. God, you give us hope. Give us strength, oh Lord. Help us to hold on to it. We bless you. We honor you this morning. In the mighty and holy name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. This morning for the next 10 minutes, not more than that, I just want to share some thoughts with you from the life of Jeremiah. Jeremiah was born in a place called Anatot. That was the city of the priest to live in near uh, Jerusalem. Sorry, in the land of Benjamin, not Jerusalem. To him the word of the Lord came and uh, he said, that he was going to make him a prophet. Please understand, growing up in a priestly family, everyone was looking forward to that great opportunity to serve in the temple as a priest. That was a great honor. You know, uh, my parents were in the ministry before they even got married, and all five of us children are still in the ministry, including my sister. My sister and her husband, they are pastoring a church in the city of Madurai, over a thousand believers. God has blessed them. My brother has also ministry with thousands of believers. And uh, another brother in the U.S., he has gone to be with the Lord. He also pastored three churches in America. Uh, another brother is an evangelist, you know. So all of us are in the ministry. So this man was also looking forward to an opportunity of being a priest. But God had a different plan. Hallelujah. Amen. My plan would have been to stay on there in South India. Praise the Lord. But never ever I thought that I would come to North India and that too to the capital city. Amen. And God calls every one of us to be a sign, a signal. And that's what we see in the life of uh, Jeremiah. God told that promise to Isaiah, I am calling you and your family to be a sign and wonders in Israel. Praise the Lord. And when you go through the life of Jeremiah, the very name Jeremiah means uh, one who overthrows. <laughs> he overthrows the establishment. You know, sometimes we like the establishment. You know, I'm for one. You know, I like it too. It's not very bad. But sometimes when it's not right in the sight of God, especially in our Christian world, then, you know, God, we can expect God to remove such things. And God had called Jeremiah to be that kind of a man. Let me read from verse 5. Behold, I formed you in the womb. I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. <coughs> See the calling of God. I ordained you to be a prophet to the nations. That is a specific call. Even generally, we are called to the nations. Hello? Generally, we are called to the nations. The great commission God gave, I mean, Jesus gave to his disciples is to go into all the nations. Go into all the world. Sitting here, we need to touch somebody the other side. 
You know, almost like Monday or Tuesdays, there is a sister in the U.S. who writes to me saying, I appreciated that ministry, I appreciated that service because I'm watching your service and it's a great blessing. Praise the Lord. And uh, the other day, I was in my hometown, and somebody said, hey, I really like you, man. <laughs> I mean, he's a relative. He said, how do you know, man? How do I know? He said, I'm watching you. Thank you. Your ministry is a blessing. Praise the Lord. Ministry in the sense, not just me, the church ministry. Praise the Lord. They love the, uh, the, the worship and other things. So our ministry, in some way, to the nations. But here, it was a specific. He was in Judah. He was called to be a prophet to Judah. That's the northern kingdom. Uh, southern kingdom, I'm sorry. But all the nations, all the heathenistic nations that were surrounding Israel and Judah, they were all, you know, deep in sin. Today we can see who are all living. You know, if you look into the Bible map in your Bible and go to that uh, map of Israel, and you can see who are all associated there, you know, Jordan and, and so many nations. Today they are all Islamic nations, Muslim nations, all right? And uh, they all surround there. And his word, his ministry, his, uh, basically his ministry was a ministry of doom, destruction, okay? <coughs> uh, uh, like when I was a young boy, a rather child, <laughs> we were afraid to go to church sometimes because the way the preachers would preach. And for every revival meeting, my pastor would only bring people from Kerala. Those Kerala pastors are yo. <laughs> they were terrible. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> but one good thing, <laughs> by the end of the week, you know, it would like start on Tuesday, Wednesday, like that. By the end of the week, there is not a single person who is not saved. There is not a single person who is not filled with the Holy Spirit. They will, boy, they will make you. <laughs> so, <laughs> this time also, one uh, brother told me, hey, you need to have this preacher come and preach for you. Uh, I asked uh, if he could do it in Hindi or English. No, no, he doesn't know any of those things. <laughs> he only knows Anya Basha besides Tamil. <laughs> so I said, okay, we'll bring him. I said, what is his specialty? He said, even if you have Sonia Gandhi come to that meeting, she will receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. That's what he said. Even if she comes, even if, oh, why not we try Modi sir to come? <laughs> Can you just imagine Modi preaching hallelujah, hallelujah? God has given certain gifting to certain people. Amen? Praise the Lord. But here we see God specifically telling him because it's the message of doom, destruction. <coughs> Why? Because they were all falling away from God. Covenant people falling away from God. God can never accept that. And uh, the poor fellow, he was just a young child. He said, Lord, verse 7, I'm a youth for you shall, uh, you know, you shall go to all to whom I sent. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, verse 6. I, O oh Lord, behold, I cannot speak for I am a youth. And the Lord said, don't say I'm a youth for you shall go to all to whom I send you. And whatever I command you, you shall speak. You know, sometimes preachers have problems. They don't preach everything God commands. The reason being, they want to get be, uh, get to come back again. They want to get invited again. So they won't preach. Remember uh, that fellow, Balaam? Huh? We want to be acceptable. So God very specifically says, you preach everything I command you. Yeah. There will be some people who will look for another church next Sunday then. <laughs> <laughs> I pray, not only me, all of us who pray I and mean, preach in this church, we try to preach what God commands us. Amen? We don't preach anything else. Whatever he commands us, we preach. And God said, do not be afraid of their faces. You know, there's a big
big preaching material right here in chapter 1. Sometimes some of us get intimidated by just looking at somebody. Huh? There was one of our uh, elders in the church one time, long, long years ago, before you all were born. <laughs> His wife and he would come. They were just starting, started coming to the church. We were in Triveni. And the wife said, we've been going to this church for several weeks now. Let's go meet with the pastor. And the man said, I am not coming to meet that man. <laughs> I am not coming to meet that man. So she said, what? Is he a lion? He's going to devour you? No, 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 no. I'm scared. You know, look the way he's standing at the pulpit and, and looking at us. I never even knew anything. <laughs> One Sunday, there were two exits. And he was trying to come from one exit. I went straight. He had to meet with me. And then his wife joined. And they began to tell me the story. And we all three had such a laugh there right in Triveni Kalasanga. <coughs> Some people are scared like that. And God was saying, do not be afraid of their faces. I do not know how your boss looks. Huh? <laughs> Some bosses are so mean. Uh, the very look. You say, hello, good morning, sir. Uh, have you met such people? Uh, even in schools. Good morning, sir. Uh. <laughs> see, God's word is so specific. Even if you see such fellows, don't be afraid of them. For I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, I put my words in your mouth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I think every preacher would like to have that blessing. Isn't that right, Pastor Thomas? <laughs> that God will put his words in our mouth. How many times we prepare and pray and study and this and that and everything. When God puts that word that needs to come to touch the lives of the people, that's the, as he called the Rema word. Amen. God says all this to your young boy. I have set, I ha see, I have this day set you over the nations, over the kingdoms. Hallelujah. This morning, spiritually, I would like for us to interpret this verse. Every one of you, even if you're a woman, you are a Jeremiah. Hallelujah. Say, I am a Jeremiah. I am called to overthrow the kingdom of Satan, the kingdom of darkness. I'm called. I'm ordained. Amen. He says, over the nations and over the kingdoms, <coughs> to root out and to pull down, to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. Understand the history. Jeremiah is coming toward the last season of the life of Judah because Judah is also about to be taken as captives. So the last few years Jeremiah has and God is using him powerfully during this time. He is known as a, as a, what do you call, weeping prophet. He was known as a weeping prophet. Verse, uh, chapter 9, verse 1. Somebody, if you can quickly read. Oh, okay, I got it. Oh, that my head were waters and my eyes a fountain of tears, that I might weep day and night for the slain of the daughter of my people, that I had in the wilderness a lodging place for travelers, that I might have my people and go from them for they are all adulterers and assembly of treacherous men. That was the condition of Judah. And of course, Israel had been taken away. But sometimes he would also speak to Israel. But main ministry was toward Judah. He said, oh, I wish my head were full of water. In talai, tanirum. In kangal, kanirum. Hallelujah. The scripture was, I grew up remembering. When it comes to pray for the souls of people, we need to have the same experience that Jeremiah had. A man who was burdened. 
That was why God called him not to marry. <laughs> there is a reason behind it. God said, you don't get married. Once you get married, then you have to worry about your wife. You have to worry about your children. You have to worry about this and that and everything. But if you're not married, then you can only worry about the ministry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think everybody believes in marriage here in this church. <laughs> That's also a good thing. <laughs> Because you don't approve what God did for Jeremiah. God told him specifically in one chapter, I think chapter 16 or somewhere it says, you know, look in this, in this city where you are, there is no safety for women. And I read that and I think, Delhi, there is no safety for women. Huh? India, what did Mahatma Gandhi say? For him, true freedom is not the freedom we get from the British. The true freedom, when a woman can walk the streets of India at midnight alone, that's freedom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what he meant as freedom. When a woman can walk alone, sometimes I see Women alone in bus stops. Oh God. Yeah, we, we, you know, but at the same time, you cannot go, you know, because you would be misunderstood. <laughs> we do not know what kind of woman that is there. <laughs> but Gandhiji said, when a woman can walk freely without fear, the streets of India, we have truly got freedom. That freedom is not from the British. That freedom is from God. Hallelujah. God has touched every man, every woman in India when he can respect and honor every other woman as his mother, as his sister, as his daughter. There is true freedom. Amen. Praise the Lord. And here, as God had called him to a great ministry, this fellow was trying to give all kinds of excuses like Moses would. Finally, God comes down. Let's go down to verse 17. In the coming weeks, the Lord willing, I will share some other themes from the book of Jeremiah. But this morning, this is what I want to share. They will come against you. And I want to share with you, who are they? Who are they? Just read the chapter when you go home because I don't have much time. Verse 17, therefore prepare yourself and arise. Speak to them all that I have command you, uh, all that I command you. Do not be dismayed before their faces. Again, faces. Lest I dismay you before them. For behold, I have made you this day. And that's the point. When we can do something for God is when he has made something out of us. Amen. Hallelujah. God needs to make something out of us. When you look at the life of Gideon, Gideon was a coward. You know, he was a fearful man. Suddenly the angel of the Lord comes to him and he calls him, Hey, mighty man. The way you look at yourself, the way look, I mean, God looks at you are two different things. In a way, it is good for us to, you know, really feel inadequate about ourselves. But at the same time, when we have become a vessel in the hand of God, that inadequacy must disappear. We must just look to God and see how God is going to use us. God chose this man, and the angel of the Lord comes to him. He says, you are a mighty man of valor, because as one man, you are going to drive out these Midianites as one man. There are times God wants to give you glory, God wants to give you honor as one man and you stop it. You have to share it with 300 other men. <laughs> this morning, I would rather share that honor with 300 men and women of GCLC. Hallelujah. 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 And God said to him, look, man, I have made you this day a fortified city. That was the condition of Jeremiah. A fortified city an iron pillar and bronze walls against the whole land. There are four kinds of people who will come against you. Four kinds of people. 
Read your Bible. Come read with me. Verse 18. Against the kings of Judah, against its princes, against its priests, against the people of the land. Sometimes pastors will come against you. <laughs> it says the priests. It says the kings. In this version, this is a new English version. It says princes, but actually it talks about governmental leaders. Those who are in government offices. So the kings, the priests, the leaders, officers, let me put it that way, and then your neighbors. These are the people who can come against you. Amen? And God says, I'm with you. They will not overcome you. You may see this in your day-to-day -day life, in your office, in your business. As I heard this man saying, you know, uh, the, yesterday when I saw him, he had another partner. There was another partner with him before. He, he, he was a Christian too. But I don't know what happened. Be careful. If you do not know how to pray, don't start a business. You need business acumen, no doubt about it. You need to know economy and this and that and everything, the time to invest, the time to take. The, uh, you need to know all that. But more than that, you need to be a man of prayer. You need God as a first partner in your, in your business. Fellow lost everything. Crows of I was thinking, my God, crows? Losing a few thousands or hundreds, you know, is bad enough for us. <laughs> Four kinds of people. The word of God says the kings. As far as India is concerned right now. The kings are against you. When God told Joshua to go against the uh, Jericho, just wait, okay. You know what God said in verse 2? I have given the kings over to you. That's what God said. And then he said, I have given the city over to you. And then God said, I have given the fighting men all of them over to you. Hallelujah. Dear people of God, God does not uh, fool with us. He doesn't have time for that. He means business with us. Hallelujah. The time is short. He wants every one of us to rise and do the job for him. Today, I would think the kings of this nation are against the church, against the kingdom of God, against the people of God. Even the priests. <coughs> I pray for unity among the churches. I pray for unity among the leaders. I pray for unity among the bishops and the superintendents and uh, what not that we have in the church world. We need real unity. We need real love for one another. We need to support one another. We need to honor one another. Anytime they have any citywide thing, you know, in the city, when the information comes to us, honor them and go and participate, especially if it is a prayer thing. Uh, please, let's give our support to them. And then it says leaders and then the people. And see how the word of God is so clear. <laughs> God didn't say they will come and just play with you, socialize with you. They will come to? Hello? They will come to? fight you. They'll come to fight you. Be careful who you invite to your dinner table. <laughs> they come to fight you. That means fight means they hate you. Who wants to fight with you? Somebody has to have such hatred within our heart to fight or to slap or to do something to harm us. All these people who are supposedly People who are to do God's purpose in the nation of Judah. The king had to represent God. The priests who had to represent God. The people were covenant people of God. They're all coming against this one man chosen by God. His name was Jeremiah. One man. This morning you might be that one person. 
that God can use. You know, so many things we can put it to us, situations and the problems that we usually face in life. But the word of God is so clear. None of them will overcome you. <laughs> Hallelujah. This month is an overcoming month. Not only this month, every day in the year 2024, till we come back on that watch night service, should Jesus tarry, we give thanks and praise to God and testify. God, since the time of the month of April, God never allowed me to be defeated. God never allowed me to, fa to be a failure. God helped me to overcome uh, all those obstacles that came against me because God was with me. His presence was with me. Amen. Praise the Lord. But at the same time, as I told you, be like Jeremiah. You know, people would think when they look at his life, when they read their life story, they would think, oh, what a man, what a foolish man who gave his entire life to serve this God who was mean to him. No, God was never mean to him. When we go to heaven, we have lots to hear from Jeremiah. Hallelujah. We've got a lot to hear from Jeremiah. And he would even say, oh, yeah, yeah, we were up in heaven. Brother Sharma, your wife is up in heaven with Jesus, not somewhere in the clouds. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And we will hear. And Jeremiah might come around me and pat my back and say, hey, thank you, man, for preaching that message on me. Because I got some friends from GCLC since that day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. God is good. <laughs> Heavenly Father, this morning we thank you for your presence with us. Lord, you took this service in a different way. Thank you, Lord, when we cannot plan a service properly. Thank you, Lord, when the Holy Spirit can come in between. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, the Holy Spirit can alter our, pro our, 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 our programs and our plans. Thank you, Lord, for the beautiful testimonies that was uplifting and encouraging for us, O oh Lord. The way you are dealing with your children, the way you are leading them and guiding them. God, I pray you give us the strength. Just like Jeremiah, he was so weak, he was so afraid. But you told him not to tr trust in anyone, not to look at anybody's face and be intimidated but to only hear the voice of God. Hallelujah. May we also hear the voice of God every moment, every day in our lives so that we can serve you faithfully. We thank you, Lord, for what you did in and through his life and ministry. To this world, he was a failure. He was an utter failure. But God, before you, he was a faithful servant who fulfilled every command that was given to him. We praise you, we worship you, we honor you. In the holy name of Jesus we pray, amen. As we go before the table of the Lord, Pastor Yudha is coming to lead us in the time of uh, communion service. Those of you who are helping us with the communion today, please do come and stand here to help. Amen. Oh, the blood of Jesus Oh the blood of Jesus Oh the blood of Jesus It washes white as snow There's power of Luke chapter 22 verse number 14 when Jesus said when the hour came Jesus and his apostles reclined at the table and he said to them I've eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer 
for i tell you i will not eat it again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of god and this morning as we have gathered in god's presence to partake in this holy communion remember that god was eager to suffer for us to be the passover lamb so that we can remember him until he comes and then he says until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of god i will not eat it again that means god is going to take part with us in this feast when we meet him amen so we are preparing for that there is a joy in that great feast uh, so as we will be taking and holding these emblems in our hands remember that we'll be partake we'll be in that feast with the lord jesus christ uh, and today as you partake remember that he suffered for us he took everything upon himself uh, so that we are redeemed uh, and as the emblems come to you please hold it in your hands and with a prayer with thanksgiving with surrender in your heart uh, and also worship him and pastor will lead us in i hear the savior say thy strength indeed is small child of weakness watch and pray find in me thine all in all jesus paid it all all to him i owe sin had left a crimson stain he washed it white as snow Jesus on the night he was betrayed he took the bread 
and when he had given thanks he said this body which is broken for you so do this in remembrance of me let's eat the bread together and in the same way after the supper he took the cup saying this cup is a new covenant in my blood so do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me let's remember jesus christ as we drink the cup together may i ask the congregation to stand to your feet as we will be worshiping him and giving him thanks as pastor said beautifully brought the word today there are people maybe standing against you remember that you have overcome because our jesus has overcome the death amen the stone has been rolled away what a powerful reminder this sunday because sometimes we are still stuck we are still stuck we forget the easter okay it's gone it's celebration it's gone no remember that the stone has been removed it's been rolled away when jesus walks in no stand can stand on his way it will just roll away praise god for that very close your eyes for a moment give him thanks and praise him tell him and confess that lord i trust in you you are my lord and you are my savior you are my savior you are my everything oh lord and confess that just pray pray just pray open your mouth and pray maybe your your spouse is standing next to you your children or your brother or sister who is standing next to you you can pray with them lord thank you for bringing me to this church today lord and i'm sitting in the presence of god i witnessed i've experienced god's presence and power his word has come to you the word is alive and active that can transform your heart that can bring life to you this morning hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord is here you don't have to look around you don't have to see anyone else but look to god just tell him lord thank you so much Thank you so much. You have never forgotten me, Lord. Today you brought the word to me. Maybe there was one sentence that Pastor made today that was so specific to you because God had put the word in his mouth to tell you that I did not forget you. I did not forget you. I am your God. I am your Father. I am your Heavenly Father. I can carry you on my arms like a mother. I am like a nursing child. I care for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I request Pastor Clifford to lead us in prayer. Thank you, Lord, for this service that has really helped us to see the stone that has been rolled away. Help us to see the empty tomb. our problem should not stand between us and you and us a lot but it's only the empty tomb that will stand before us as a witness that our god is with us as you have promised us many may come against us we do not know what are the challenges that we are going to face in this month but we lord only want to believe and put our confidence in the lord and say my god is with me My God is with me. My God is with me. What I could not do, he has already done it for me. I pray that faith will arise in each one of us. Throughout this month we will continue to proclaim, O oh Lord, that Jesus paid it all and the stone is rolled away for us. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. We worship you, Lord, for reassuring each one of us and thank you for the wonderful testimonies that we could hear of God's faithfulness oh lord thank you that you led the service today oh lord and you revealed your power to us i pray that as we all return to our places may your spirit lead us oh god give us a victorious week that we will be a witness in this world in jesus most precious name we pray Amen and amen. amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus, the love of the Father, and the sweet communion and the presence of the Holy Spirit will abide with us until the day of our Lord Jesus. Let's say amen. Amen. God bless you and also just pay attention we have the men's fellowship next Saturday 13th 
at L16. It starts at 7.45. So we invite all the men to be part of that men's fellowship. Please be there. So now you can bring your mission offerings and your pledges uh, as you bring your cups. Thank you. God bless you. Have a wonderful week ahead. Greet one another. God bless you.